What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with the biggest horror action figure setup ever, and it is for our Halloween special for 2023. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel for the 2023 Halloween special here today, man. Very excited for another horror action figure setup today. It is the biggest one ever on the channel. And we're back in my damn kitchen, man. Until my office is finished, we're going to have to keep doing the setups here, man. But I can't wait to dive into it with you, take you through the entire setup, and celebrate Halloween. Hope you guys are enjoying your festivities. And we're going to celebrate a little bit here on the channel with this epic horror action figure setup. And, of course, WWE figures included in here, man. So, with that being said, let's dive into our setup, take you guys through it, and let you guys in on all the action that we have here today so i guess what we can do is start over here and we'll cover all of this and we'll work our way all the way to the end of the bar until we finish the entire setup so over here in the corner, man, we do have the Unrivaled 13 Darby Allen and this Jason mask. I figured it would be a perfect time to showcase it here on the channel. Now, my buddy Michael actually sent this to me because he knew that I was a big horror fan. And he threw the MDT colorway on there. Looks incredible. I love this Jason mask. I think it looks fantastic. I could even wear it if I wanted to, but I'm going to put it on display. I don't want it to, you know, I don't want to harm it or anything, but I figured it looked really, really good. So I wanted to showcase it here. Fits the theme of the entire video, and it is the Halloween special by far. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. You have Darby Allen up here on top of this little standing here you know there's like a little layers here there are levels to this thing here but he is on top of here and this giant jason is reaching out to him about to grab him but while he's up here man he is looking to do a coffin drop onto this jason Voorhees down here that is on top of a table tower in itself we got a stack full of tables right here and he's gonna hit the coffin drop off the top but he better hurry brad because this jason Voorhees, this jason's trying to reach out there and ruin the entire effort man so he better bail off very soon if we go just beyond that i just picked up this new Dremel, which I used in this video, which we'll get into, but this Jason is Dremeling the hell out of that Seth Rollins down there and just kind of putting a hole in him, and this thing's actually very, very powerful, and so I figured he could get some work in right there. Had some extra body, so I figured add that to the setup. Coming to the right a little bit, we have another Jason figure, but it is this gigantic Part 7 statue that has pinned AJ Styles to the wall. Look at him right there. Terrified out of his mind. Wouldn't you be terrified, Brad, if you were getting shoved up against the wall? But he's got the giant machete about to plant AJ Styles through the wall there, so I figured that'd be a nice addition there. The statues and the bigger figures scale nicely, you know, because they crush the smaller action figures, so I figured that worked out pretty well there. But if we come down here, you will see Goldberg getting a little offense in in the horror action figure setup. You know, we don't typically have of the WWE or the wrestling action figures getting much action in. It's a, you know, I try to give a little bit of a balance, but usually it's the horror action figures getting the comeuppance and beating the hell out of the WWE figures or, you know, destroying them. But in this one, Goldberg has impaled this Michael Myers with the pole there. And that, that's the same Michael Myers we always use with the impaling. I just think it looks great. He can grab the pole. It's getting shoved through there. That's a nice visual for the setup. Coming just to the left, man, we have Jungle Boy here who is stuck in this little two-tire little thing here that has pretty much trapped him. And Tiffany and Chucky are about to uh, do whatever, I guess. I mean, uh, he's terrified. You guys can see his face right there. He is, uh, he's, uh, he's very upset, uh, of course, as we all would be, but Tiffany and Chucky have him trapped right there. Not a good spot. Coming to the left a little bit, we do have this new part. I've never added the alligator to the setup, but we have a snake, a couple baby gators, and then we have this gigantic gator right here, and Dustin Rhodes is handcuffed with his head in the mouth of the gator, and you got Victor Crowley on top of there just going crazy. He just kind of reminds me of a hillbilly out in the woods, you know? Makes the most sense with the alligator and the different animals and things like that, so I could totally see that taking place, but yeah, not a good spot to be in for Dustin Rhodes. Handcuffed, you got Victor Crowley. I mean, look at that mug right there, so not a good spot for him, but the alligator is uh yeah i mean he's one snap away like joe dirt just beyond that guys we have another jason Voorhees right here but you guys can see he's already been impaled by one arrow and then he pulled this other arrow out of his body he's bleeding right here he's a bloody mess and he is attacking stone cold steve austin who has this crossbow right here and I just thought this was a nice visual for Stone Cold Steve Austin. So he's got the crossbow. He's shooting at this Jason who is just getting impaled by arrows and pulling him out. So he's trying to fight him off the best he can. But I figure Stone Cold knows how to shoot a crossbow. So I felt like that fit pretty nice in the, in the setup right here. And then we have this casket full of weapons. I guess he just found the crossbow in there and picked it up and started shooting. Right here, we have sort of the centerpiece of the setup, man. We have the wrecking truck right here. A lot of action going on on the truck right there. But this wrecking truck is running over Cody Rhodes. So you guys can see Cody Rhodes. 
Woods right there screaming in agony. He has been partly run over. And uh, if you look in here inside the driver's seat, who is driving this thing? None other than Sam from Trick or Treat. So Sam is driving that thing. He ran over Cody Rhodes, and it's not looking like a fun time. I mean, obviously, oh God, I can't even imagine that. But you guys get the point. Sam's wrecking havoc here, and uh, pun intended. He's wrecking havoc on Cody Rhodes right here, who's getting run over in the front. And then just in front of that, we do have this beautiful custom MDT Cena made by BEW Customs. However, this was actually a gift to me from my buddy Steinsenberg Customs on Instagram or my buddy Cody. Huge shout out to him, man. Look at this sweet custom. I'm going to show this off in another video, but look at the kicks. He's got the Nikes on. It's just this Elite 100 Cena with this custom MDT colors, but he has planted one of these Jasons through a glass pane and it shattered and it went everywhere. So you got glass scattered everywhere, little bits of glass. The cinder blocks were propping up that glass pane and he went shattering through it. But the John Cena looks good. Wanted to showcase the custom. So I figured why not get some work in and showcase the kicks right there. I mean, look at this right here. That's pretty fire. So the John Cena has planted this Voorhees through the glass pane. Coming slightly to the left, we have another Michael Myers here. And this Michael Myers is slamming Sami Zayn's head into the door. Very common thing that Michael Myers would do. I could absolutely see this taking place. So Michael Myers is slamming his head in the door. And on top, we have Danhausen who is cursing somebody. So you guys can see he's cursing somebody. I don't know where the hell he's looking, but I wanted to include, you know, the very nice, very evil Danhausen in the Halloween setup. So I wanted to, you know, make sure I got that taken care of. And then on the back, we do have Pinhead from Hellraiser, and he has pretty much chained up Punk here, and Punk is getting choked out by this chain. He's an upright here by the chain on top of the truck there, and just kind of choking the life out of him right there. So that kind of fit in the chains and Pinhead and stuff, and the, the Punk looked pretty bad A, you know, strung up like that, so I thought that was a pretty cool visual there for the setup and the horror action figure stuff we got going on here today. If we come forward a little bit, we do have Candyman. Now, Candyman is breaking out the claw. Got the hook hand, he's got the bees coming out, and he is attacking Logan Paul. So we got that Logan Paul Ultimate Edition. I think in the last setup, he was strung up by some barbed wire, and he had a lot of guys going after him. And this one is just Candyman, but wanted to use the Candyman here in the setup, so we do have Candyman represented. Coming to the left, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the setup, and I, I don't know what my favorite part is. You guys can let me know all of that down in the comment section below. But this is a nail gun that I got from some accessories company. So it has this cool nail gun for this Chucky, and he is shooting Brian K. So you guys can see here, he is a bloody mess because he has put all these nails in the back of Brian K. So that's what the little pieces of silver right there are supposed to be. So you have the nail gun, and he is uh, working Brian K. So I thought that was a pretty nice one. He's screaming in agony. Fits perfectly. So you got Chucky shooting the nail gun into Brian Cage. Coming to the left a little bit, we do have Leatherface represented here in the setup, and he's going after Angelo Dawkins, who is chained up. So his arms are chained up, and he's backing away from Leatherface to the best of his ability there. Will he get away? We'll have to see, but Angelo Dawkins fighting for his life versus Leatherface, who has his chainsaw ready to go, as always. Coming back just a little bit, man, we have Michael Myers, and this is a newer edition. I did uh, actually put a hole in the chest of the, the Candace Michelle Jax figure right there. So I feel like if you've watched any horror movie to date, I've seen a scene similar to this. Michael Myers just getting the surprise on Candace Michelle right there. Leave a like for, for the damage done to the figures here today in this setup, man. We put some holes in some figures to bring the setup to life. So we have the Michael Myers on the Candace Michelle figure. Coming just beyond that, this is what I'm talking about, man. We actually do have damage right here on this Seth Rollins. There is a hole in the Seth Rollins from the Frieza horn going right through his sternum right there. And then he is crushing MJF. So over here, he's crushing MJF. And then his one horn is going through the chest of Seth Rollins up there. It's kind of hard to get some blood in there from the angle and like getting knocked over. And like, this is like a hundred dollar Frieza figure. So didn't want to get too much blood, you know, spl splattered all over the Frieza figure. But still a cool visual. I wanted to do that last time and I didn't get a chance to, but I wanted to include it here today. Going beyond that, we have another Jason laid out on a table. And then we have my beautifully painted Green Goblin pumpkin that I did this year. So I painted up my Green Goblin pumpkin, wanted to put it in the setup. So we have the Green Goblin pumpkin, and then we have Jeff Hardy on top bailing off onto this Jason Voorhees set up on the table. I felt like that was a nice addition, but, you know, let, let me know your thoughts on my pumpkin. What'd you put on your pumpkin this year to celebrate Halloween? Well, that's a little bit. We have another Michael Myers figure, and he is actually putting the lid on this coffin, and this coffin is uh, going to, uh, you know, bury John Moxley down here. So John Moxley is wrapped up in barbed wire, screaming bloody mess right there. He's inside the coffin, and Michael Myers, I guess, is going to finish the job here 
put the top or the lid onto uh, onto the coffin and, and try to finish the day there. But will he succeed? We'll have to see. But just beyond him, we do have Batista. I thought this was really funny. We have Batista loading up Crooked Man with a Batista bomb. I thought that it would be nice if he Batista bombed him onto Jason and then you finish him off with the Swanton after that. I don't know, but it just kind of looks funny with the Crooked Man, like his gear and how long and lanky he is getting Batista bombed. I thought that was a funny visual, so I wanted to include that here today. I don't know if that would even work, but I, I liked it, so I went ahead and included it. Just in front of that, we do have Ghostface going after Wheeler Yuta. So we have this Blood and Guts Wheeler Yuta figure. And that figure, all the Blood and Guts figures work well because they already have blood on them. So you don't have to put any blood on them yourselves. So that works really good for setups, especially these horror action figure setups. But Ghostface is going after Wheeler Yuta here today in the setup. He's got the kitchen knife going. He's chasing after it. In front of that, we have another one of my favorite parts. We have Sting going to work here. This is my custom Ultimate Edition Sting figure. And he has swung for the fences and knocked this Jason Voorhees head off over there. So you guys can see it's a bloody mess. It decapitated him with the baseball bat. Great swing from the Stinger. What an icon. Probably could have been a Hall of Fame baseball player for all we know. Man was hitting dingers today in the horror setup. So he's got his trench coat on. He swung for the fences, knocked the head off of the Jason Voorhees. And I wanted to, to represent that here today. In front of that, we do have the nun, and she is uh, pushing the rock in this cart, and this cart is about to plummet off this countertop and go uh, hundreds of feet to the ground. So, you know, you'd be screaming in agony as well if that was going to happen to you. So we do have the nun pushing the rock in the, in the buggy there, and he's not too happy about it. I think we'd all look like this in this situation. Coming back on top, man, we do have Chris Jericho being pushed in this wheelchair. He's strapped into the wheelchair by this Jason, and he is about to get dumped onto this barbed wire little tapestry deal. It's not even a tapestry. It's just pretty much a barbed wire bed. It's a bed of barbed wire. It's not going to feel good, Brad. It's going to cut you all up to pieces, so Chris Jericho is screaming there. He is strapped in. He can't go anywhere, and Jason is going to push him off into the barbed wire pallet that we have standing here in the setup today. I mean, just to the left, man, we have a couple cool things going on right here. This is probably another one of my favorite parts of the setup. We have this diesel figure here who is laid out, and uh, Freddy Krueger has done some experiment in here. So we have this head falling in the bucket there and everything going on right there. I wanted Freddy Krueger represented, and so I did add him here last minute to the setup right there for Freddy Krueger. And then this one's pretty cool because I thought it was funny that P Pennywise is, like, laughing the way he is. And then you have the, you know, the remake Pennywise riding shotgun pulling a chain. So they're in the car driving. I just thought that was a funny visual for OG Pennywise. And then you have this chain that goes through and then you have a bagged head, you have a bag on the head of Miro getting drugged by the chain behind the car. And I thought that was a pretty interesting visual right there. So you got both Pennywise's kind of double team in there, driving the car, dragging the bodies behind. And you guys can see this giant T-Rex right here, which has taken out a few people already, and it is eating somebody currently. So you guys can see that the T-Rex has, uh, or the giant, not, it's not a T-Rex, it's the Gigantosaurus, actually. I don't know if it's Target exclusive or what, but we have the Gigantosaurus represented here, eating that man there. You guys can see his legs flaying all over the place, but we have some uh, additional people that have been taken out by the dinosaur or the Gigantosaurus, and that is right behind our Pennywise double team right here, pulling the body of Miro behind with the chain and bag. Coming to the left, man, this is pretty freakish. We usually have Brock Lesnar getting some offense in, and none other than today, man. He has not used any weapons. He strapped down Michael Myers, and then he just beat the brains out of Michael Myers, literally. So that's what we have represented right here, man. Another crazy visual that I just thought looked really cool here in the setup. So you have Michael Myers laid out on the table, strapped down, and Brock Lesnar just beat the piss out of him. We've seen him do it in UFC, and he brought it into the, into the horror setup today. Just beyond the car, we do have Hulk Hogan getting taken out by Jason Voorhees right here. We have seen this for a while. I think we made that Hulk Hogan custom like with the hole in it a while back. I think it was last year or something like that with our horror setups. And I think that, you know, that video does pretty well on the channel. So if you guys missed that, definitely check that out. But we brought it back here today with the uh, machete through the sternum of the Hulk Hogan figure. And then we do have this gigantic Jason here represented holding out this edge figure and so you're probably wondering why his hair is blowing backwards the hair the reason why his hair is blowing backwards is because he I, I think about it like iron giant you know he like picks up a guy and then like spins around and throws him around so his hair would be blowing all over the place but he does have this uh, weapon here about to take out edge but uh it's holding the figure pretty well there so i was pretty proud of that gigantic jason NECA figure and then if we go behind the Jason, we go over here. This Braun Strowman's getting choked out by this Jason. That is, uh, this is like a spiked collar deal. I think it came with Croc Master. 
It's like what he puts on the alligator over there eating Dustin Rhodes' head, but it is choking out Braun Strowman in our setup today. I'm over here behind the little black setup behind the wheelchair and the, uh, the Batista bomb, the crooked man. You will see Jason Voorhees shooting the spear gun at Matt Hardy, who is strapped down by this barbed wire little pallet here. So this Matt Hardy is strapped down as well, but you guys can see he's kind of... At first, I was going to put the nail gun here, so it would be like he's getting nailed to the pumpkin, but then I changed it to the spear gun. I just think that the Brian Cage visual looked better, in my opinion. So Matt Hardy is uh, getting shot at by the spear gun, and uh, I don't think it's going to matter if he misses because he's pretty... He's pretty strapped down that would be agony to get out of on the other side of the green goblin pumpkin over here we do have triple h getting uh kind of impaled by the forklift right here so the forklift driven by the ultimate miner right here from my bloody valentine he is going to i guess like pin him up against the pumpkin right there so that's not good for triple h you guys can see his face right there he knows what's coming so not too happy about that but ultimate miner i feel like that doesn't scale well i feel like he's gigantic compared to the forklift but i think he gets it you know it gets the job done i guess for the setup purposes today Coming just beyond that, we do have General George Washington with his hatchet or his axe, and he has hacked up Michael Myers right here. You guys can see his hands missing, his foot's missing over there. So George Washington is getting a little bit of payback here, and he has taken out this Pennywise, so his leg's missing, his hand's missing. You don't mess with General George, man. He's going to chop you up. You know, it's, it's what he does. It's what he does best. So General George is uh, getting some offense in here. Uh, I think it'd be a fun little matchup to watch Michael Myers and George Washington go to war. I, I'm, I'm down for that all day we come to the left man we do have wardlow getting some offense in i don't know what the hell's up with the lighting right here but wardlow is crushing jason Voorhees. this friday the third or not friday the third this is the freddy versus jason version of jason Voorhees. he is getting crushed by this can of campbell's chunky creamy chicken and dumplings it's very you know important to specify exactly what he's crushing him with man that's the chunky kind so you know it's damn heavy just crushing the back of jason there but Usually it is a figure getting crushed or a, a wrestling figure getting crushed, but I wanted to flip the script today because Wardlow's the man. And then last but not least, this is the Friday the 13th Part 2, Jason, with this little saw right here taking out Cash Wheeler in the setup. So Cash Wheeler's strapped down over here, and then we have this Part 2, Jason. You guys can see he's screaming. And then this Part 2, Jason, with this, uh, this electric saw going ham right there. We've seen that visual a lot in the setups, but I wanted to get the electric saw some action. I don't think we've ever seen that one in a horror setup here on the channel, but that is the end of the ki the kitchen setup right here, over here in the corner. But I think that pretty much is our full horror action figure setup to celebrate Halloween of 2023, man. Had a ton of fun setting this up. These setups do take a, a lot of time, man. I greatly appreciate a like and a comment what you guys think, and I'd like to know what you were for Halloween this year down in the comment section below. And of course, leave a like on the video man it mean a lot if we could get this video to a thousand likes as quickly as possible and if we crack that goal go ahead and keep pushing that thing up and see how far we can go man but a huge shout out to everybody watching the video and a huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel always appreciate those fellas over there huge shout out to them man greatly appreciate their continued support on a daily basis always love and appreciate those guys but that is going to wrap the video up man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys have a happy halloween let me know your favorite part of the setup down in the comment section below i will see you guys next time have a happy and safe Halloween. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.